Hi, this is William Steele, and welcome to another episode of All in VR. I'm All in VR, are you? So today we're gonna talk about the Logitech K830. Again, yes, roll your eyes, we're gonna talk about it a second time. But what we're gonna talk about is, how does it actually work? How is Facebook, i.e. Oculus, actually getting the K830 to track in VR. I was wondering that myself for a while. I was curious, maybe does this little, little doodiddy right there maybe have some IR emitter? Is there maybe IR coming out of the keys so it can track it? Well, it turns out the answer is far more simple than that. And how we go about doing that is actually even just as simple. I started by, well, taking a photo of the keyboard and after we take a photo, all I did is put it onto a tablet, or in this case, it's a two-in-one. So let's bring that photo up here. And there we go. So we've got a nice picture of the keyboard. So now one of the things we need to do is make sure that the size that you're viewing the keyboard at is a similar size to the physical keyboard. And as we can see, they are not quite the same size. They're close but uh, we need to increase the size of this a wee bit more. So let's first turn, put this into tablet mode and we'll flip you around. And so let's get our tablet mode. Do I want to go in tablet mode? Yes, I do. And now what we'll do is we will just get these two so they match up in size. So let me just stand this up. One of the things I love about a tablet, we can just go like that. So now let's size these two guys up. So they're similar sizes. And one of the things I was able to find out is I don't actually need the keyboards. I don't need the full, the full view of the keyboard. So the fact that the entire keyboard won't show up uh, when, I'm, when I'm viewing it in VR, that is okay. So there we go. Now we have this keyboard, the same size as this keyboard, more or less. I think that's about right. Maybe just a tad. Let's uh, check it one more time. I think that's gonna be close enough, but just in case, let's just move you just up, 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 just a tad more. Let's try to get it just right. Man, it can be a little bit of a pain. So I'm still a little too big now. And that I might be just a tad too small. So I can go somewhere in between. And I think that is full size. All right. So now we've got the keyboard full size after I futz with it a little longer than I would have liked to. And what we will do is we can put it down. And now we're gonna take our fake keyboard into VR and see if it tracks. I'll see you in VR. All right, so the first thing we need to know is that in order to do this hack, you do need the Logitech K830 keyboard for now. I'm trying to think of some ways that we can hack around it. For, for the moment, you do need it. And this is really about just understanding how this is working. And what we're gonna do is first we need to turn the keyboard on and it's already gotta be connected in the headset. So if it is not connected in the headset, make sure you connect it enable your, and enable your keyboard tracking. And you'll see, see my hands a little typing. So I'm gonna just say, I'm gonna go okay and select that. Hold on, the real keyboard's getting in the way here. Say okay, okay. And as you saw in the last episode, you know, you can, uh, the tracking works okay. And actually I think it works not as well when I'm trying to maybe um, when I'm not trying to record the video, but you'll see, you won't see my hands in VR um, in the recording, but uh, you can see I've got the actual keyboard right here and it moves and it does its fancy stuff. Now, I will now take this and I'm going to replace that with my actual one right here. So let's take my, or my, my fake one. Let's take this tablet. Uh, let me switch back to my images if I can. All right, now let's try that. We're gonna put this tablet down. You can see I've got the keyboard on here. And if I put my headset on and I move this out and let's just turn it over, um, I should, I don't wanna do any updates. Okay, now let's see if I can get this to show up for me as it did before. Okay. And of course now it doesn't want to. Let's, uh, let's get the real keyboard, make sure it's showing up the way it's supposed to. And it is, okay, let's take this one and put it away. And we're not working. Why are we not working? Is the size correct? 
Let's see if we've got the size, the right size here. That looks pretty good. I mean, I guess it's a tad, maybe I can make it just a tad smaller. Let's try that. It did work before. There we go. All right. So now, since it's just the right size, you can see I'm moving it in VR, and it appears as an actual keyboard. It's a little more finicky than the one in, uh, than the physical one, obviously. But it, what it does show and what it does tell us is that this is actually more about image tracking than anything else. Let's see if I can get it to come back up. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so when you've got your hands sometimes holding it in a funny position, it doesn't work, so it's better to put your hands, I guess, underneath. Nope, doesn't like that either. We did have it working. Okay, there we go. And yeah, so now I'm moving it. I'm moving back with it. Like I said, it's a little more finicky, but this does prove that is nothing but image tracking that's happening with this. So that's all. It's just plain old image tracking to track the keyboard, nothing more. So what is this, where does this leave us? What does this mean? Well, let me get out of this headset and we can talk about that. All right, so I think that was really cool. I guess the first question is, where does that leave us? Well, since Oculus is really doing nothing else but just using an just regular image tracking, there's no, there doesn't appear to be any like important depth sensing kind of stuff going on. Um, no IR emitters in here to do the tracking. It's all just image tracking. So that leaves me to wonder why did Oculus decide just to make this one keyboard the only one? And they took, what, a year almost after announcing it? So you take an entire year after announcing that you're going to do this partnership with Logitech and release a keyboard. And now you do, and there's nothing special about the keyboard. I mean, it's cool that you're doing it, but why partner with one keyboard maker when you could just, if you're just doing image recognition, just just image recognize, or you know, just use image recognition to track the keys. You don't really need a specific keyboard to do this. So are you gonna leave us stuck with only one keyboard that becomes progressively more difficult to find as more people want them? Or are you gonna open this up to the possibility of tracking other keyboards or just pretty much any keyboard technically should be possible? So, I don't know, I'm a little, I'm excited that I can do this. I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, one of the cool things is in theory, some Chinese manufacturer could make a knockoff of this keyboard. Uh, it does not require that the Logitech logo is visible. So you can just put your hand over a good portion of the keyboard, it still works. So the keyboard even remotely looks like this. Now, the only thing that's gonna be important is you do need to connect it via Bluetooth. So you would need some way of spoofing the, I guess, Bluetooth ID of the Logitech keyboard. And that's something else that I'll look into. Uh, see if I can find a way to do that without having the actual Logitech on. And in theory, if you could do that, you could then take the tablet with some kind of app that basically just took the keyboard and you could actually type on the tablet and use that instead of this, which would be kind of cool if I had a some kind of any other kind of tablet with just an app I could download on for iPhone or for Android. And I could just type on the keyboard if I could spoof the Bluetooth somehow. So I think that's the only thing to figure out how to do. And I am I am going to look into that. My what I do is as a day job is I'm a software developer specifically for VR, but doing these kind of hacking kind of things. Uh, that's my bread and butter. So let me know. Do you want me to try to spoof the Bluetooth ID of the of the actual Logitech K380 uh, so I can not use the keyboard at all? Is there anything else you want me to try with this tracking to see that we can do? Are there any other questions that are at the moment left unanswered? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to try to do something else, maybe even build an app specifically that you guys could use for a fake keyboard on a tablet for now. Or maybe there's another kind of hack that we could do to put maybe a cutout of something over another keyboard. You know, that's one thing I haven't tried. We could just take uh, an image maybe, a piece of paper, and put it over just the trackpad portion because we don't really need the trackpad that much. Would that be enough for the keyboard to be recognized? Because obviously, if I put my hand over at least a third of the keyboard, it still tracks. 
uh, it will still show up. So that means it does not need the entire keyboard to show. So is there some, is there some way that we can make almost any other keyboard, like a cover or something that we can put on to make any other keyboard appear as the K830? However, again, we need a way to spoof the Bluetooth if you don't want to actually have to have a Logitech K830. And lastly, let me know, what do you think about Facebook's decision here? I mean, they took a specific keyboard that has no technology specific to make this work. There's nothing special about this keyboard other than Oculus just shows this one to work in VR, which in my opinion is, well, I guess kind of lame. Or did Logitech pay them a bunch of money? Does Logitech have that kind of money to, to do that? I have no idea. Well, I hope you found this episode interesting. I, I certainly was amazed that this actually even worked. I really did not expect it to work. And I promise you, if you try this, it will work for you. This is not some gimmick that I'm doing to just try to get viewers. So if you like this episode, like the channel, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is there anything that you think I missed that you'd like to see me try? Have you tried any of this uh, yourself? And if you want to give it a try and let me know how it works for you, let me know. So until my next episode, I'm all in VR. Are you all in VR? See you next time.